Hey, what's going on guys, Santa Breeze 19 here, and I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I kind of want to make a catch-up video. So this first video is going to be on uh, Splash Force, because I recently got Splash Force over the break, so that's pretty awesome. Splash Force is basically one of the best, if not the best, Adidas bot that you can have in the game right now. It's awesome, and I'm just going to be showing you how to use it, everything to do with it, and... Um, just walk through of how to get it. So first of all, how you get it, it's it's very hard. If you go to purchase.splashforce.io, it's always sold out. It's $300, so that is pricey, but it is good for the best bot out there. So the, there's two ways that you can get it that I know of that have worked for me. Either Ewan, he's the dev of it, so you could uh, contact, not contact him, but like once a week he does restocks like this right here. It says 10 copies randomly once a week you'll drop 10 copies with this and then you just go there and you try to check out which is which is like it's it's pretty fair but also it's really sought after so it sells out like in 10 seconds so you really have to be quick and the second way is this group talk that i'm in this discord i mean called sneaker group they're really helpful they're really great and they do group buys all the time like they're right here i think yeah they're about to do a group group buy for trip io which is the supreme mesh force which is i i don't know what mesh force is actually splash force which is what i'm going to be talking about and samurai which is also um supreme so they do group buys all the time so if you're not in there i would advise getting in there although it has been a bit hard lately but they do let people in like this four hours ago at 150 retweets. We will open the group for 25 people to join. So it's like, if you get in, that's great. And so that's that's how you get it. I'm going to be talking about what you do with the bot, how you do, and yeah, just how to use it. So if you go to, let me try. If you go, let me search it. If you go to splashforce.io and you have the bot and it's hooked up to your Discord, you're going to want to hit login with Discord once you go to splashforce.io, authorize, then it'll go give you this. It'll say welcome and then it'll say your Discord name, it'll give you your key, your email, and it gives you five activations. So you can basically have this bot on five computers. Of course, I'm going to block out the email and key so you guys can't have mine, but it, that's where your guys' is, is going to be located. Currently, I have mine on my computer and I gave it to two of my friends to help me out with some stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna be talking about that actual bot now So in this bot when you downloaded it, it comes with three factors Splash Force, which is the actual bot task editors how you make your tasks and Splash Force folder I'm gonna talk about that right now in Splash Force folder You really don't mess with anything other than proxies.txt What you do if you have proxies and you want to use them You just open it up insert them and then you just close it out and hit save. That's that's that in task editor This is this is where you're gonna to want to pay attention Email, you're going to want to put the email and key that was given in given in the splashrush.io that I showed you. The site key should be updated, but check just in case. I believe this is the updated site key. I'll put this in the description for you guys, too, so you can use that. Release timer, if you, it's as it says. If you're not at your computer, then it'll release. Uh, cart bay is basically if you wanted to sell carts, then you can, like, then you could sell carts through cart bay you just send them to cart bay and then you can set your price email password i'm going to block that out of course splash you set your region and you set the splash for you only use this for splash page you don't put anything in url if it's not a splash drop you put the url for the splash when it comes up discord and slack i'll talk about that after manual captcha is just that um you can like you first of all it's it if you download it it's something different than this dev.adidas.com but if you wanted to manually solve it then you put that in if you don't then it doesn't do that it'll like open up a chrome instance so you can solve captures i'll i'll show you how that is after to capture anti capture capture solutions are all auto capture services that you can use although i do not advise them for drops because it's really slow and manual would be way faster account gen is just so that it makes email and password that are like how you desire i'm gonna block this out of course but for fa for my prefix it could be anything for me it's um a carding service that i'm gonna be talking to you later domain is gmail.com for me and my password is it's whatever so now i'm gonna be talking about the discord and slack so the discord and slack is is really simple I'm going to be showing you what it looks like after, but basically it sends the carts that you created with account gen to a Discord and it looks really easy. So how you do that is you're going to want to go to a Discord and you're going to want to make a new make a new uh, car thing. So right now I have carts right here. Let's just say um, test. Let's create a text. So when you create this test right here, you're going to want to go to edit channel, webhooks, create webhook. Of course, we're going to want to name this test. 
and then all you have to do is go down here, copy, save, and that's it. When you did that, you go to your webhook right here, put that in, and then at the very end, you're gonna wanna hit forward slash slack. That, that's basically, you don't have to, you have to do that, but don't worry about it. All it does is that it sends it to your Discord. Now at the very top, you've, you're done with your config if you did everything correctly. Now you go to tasks, and this is the really easy part. So I'm gonna also show you guys how to do this. So this is really simple. So we're gonna wanna go to Adidas, just regular Adidas. Okay, let's just go to originals and let's pick a random shoe. So, no thank you. Let's see this shoe right here, Profier. Select size, okay, so they have all the sizes. So, okay, if you scroll down, Right here, it says product code. You're gonna to wanna to take that product code. And everything is, it's so simple, guys. Region, you set to US if you're in the US. SKU is what we just took, you put that in. Size, you select your size. I mean, like, it can't get any simpler than this. Email, if you have an account that you wanna use, you could do that, or if you want guests, you put set that to true. If you have proxies, then you set them to true, but I'm only using my home IP, so I'm sending them to false. I'm auto-capturing, so I'm not doing a capture service, and I'm not sending these to Carpe. So I hit export, and I'm done. So now is the actual bot. In Splash Force, you see we have three settings, product mode, splash page, and easy splash mode. Product mode is just for regular drops, like first come, first serve. Splash mode is just for drops that have splash page, and easy splash mode is for Yeezys. So right now we have, we're only doing product mode and we only created two tasks, right? So we're just gonna hit enter. And you see this? This is the this is the Chrome instance that it launched. So if you wanted to, you can have this on a second monitor or something and you just keep solving like that. So that's two already solved. But if we go actually down here, then this is where the magic. So it launched two tasks. And if you guys can see these numbers right here, it successfully carded them I would say in less than half a second. And then once they carded you, you can't take that away in half a second. Then with this, then with this, it, it created the emails. And then as you can see here, this is when I, this is the uh, capture that I did. And then it logged them in. And then it's three right here, sent message to Discord. It's that easy. You just load this up a minute or two before the drop happens. And then we'll just keep on doing this. So that's that. If we go here and we go here, to test. Oh, well, I didn't set it up correctly, but <laughs> I didn't set it up correctly to test. But you, as you can see, I did set it up correctly to this. It did go to my personal carding thing. So it, you, all I say is you go to the webhook, you take the webhook, and then you just add dash slack to the end. But that's that's really it. And then self capture, you can close out of that. All this we're done with. So yeah, that is the bot. Hopefully this helped you guys to help, hopefully this helped you to figure out how to use the bot, all of the ins and outs of the bot and yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure to leave that thumbs up. Uh, make sure to leave a comment if you have any suggestions on future videos or if you, or what I should have done better. Subscribe if you haven't and I, as always, I hope you guys had a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in.